you can see we've now got sheet number two, which is A101. And what the A is standing for is architectural drawing 101. And the reason why it starts at 100 is because usually in an architectural set, you'll separate each type of drawing under a different number. So for example, you could have a full documentation set that has architectural drawings, structural drawings, service drawings, and they would be categorized as such. And then under each of those drawings, you'll have different floor plans, sections, details, and rather than having them all numbered one to say 50, it can get a bit difficult when for one, reading which drawing is part of which other drawings and which drawings relate to each other. For example, you'll want all of the floor plans together. You'll want all of the elevations together. You don't want the sequence to show a floor plan, then an elevation, then another floor plan, and then a section, and then another floor plan. It doesn't really make sense. So there's actually a structuring and a layering to how you number and name your drawings. So all of the architectural drawings will have an A in front of it. And if you're just doing architecture, that's really all you need to worry about, just putting an A in front of them all. But then if an engineer is also working on this model, they might have a structural set. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.